And here are some practice problems dealing with these ideas. First, we're told to find the reciprocal of each of the following. So 3 eighths, the reciprocal of 3 eighths. Well, the reciprocal of a fraction is just that fraction flipped over. So instead of 3 over 8, we have 8 over 3. For b, negative 7, the reciprocal of a number is just 1 over that number. So the reciprocal would be 1 over negative 7. But we don't typically leave fractions with the negative sign in the denominator. So let's write this as negative 1 over 7. The reciprocal of negative 7 is negative 1 seventh. The reciprocal of 1 over 4 is 4 over 1. And again, this is a form in which we typically don't leave it. We don't write the over 1. We would just write 4. The reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4. D is a simple fraction. The reciprocal of 12 over 5 would be 5 over 12. E, negative 3 over 5. The reciprocal would be 5 over negative 3. And again, we don't, we don't usually leave the negative sign in the denominator. Let's put it up there. This would be negative 5 thirds. So the reciprocal of negative 3 fifths would be negative 5 thirds. The reciprocal of 15 would be 1 15th. The reciprocal of 1 is 1 over 1, which is just 1. And the reciprocal of 1 tenth is 10 over 1, which we'll just write as 10. Now here we're told to find the product, and it turns out that all of these, all four of these problems have the same answer. In every single case, we have one number multiplied by its reciprocal. See, there are 4 sevenths and 7 seven fourths. When you multiply a number and a reciprocal, the result is 1. And 8 and 1 eighth are reciprocals, so those multiply together to equal 1. And again, you can think of the 8 here as being at 8 over 1. So the 8 in the numerator and in the denominator cancel out. But if you just remember that any number multiplied by its reciprocal is 1, you can just go straight to the answer. Over here, negative 3 over 5 and negative 5 over 3, those are reciprocals. So multiplied together, it equals 1. And same here, 1 over 11 times 11 is just 1.